Hey my music producer friends, I am back with another video for you. Today I show you 4 different techniques on how to use reverb. I tell you the differences between these 4 techniques and the pros and cons. Let's get started. So I prepare this little melody for you to show you the first reverb technique. The first technique is the most common and used reverb technique. You just go onto your channel and put the reverb on it and play a bit with the wet knob till you like the result. The pro of these easy technique is that it is very convenient and fast to use and it definitely will help you for your workflow to be fast. But unfortunately you can't control the reverb that good and if you do this on almost every channel then your track will sound bad very fast. So we will go further to technique 2. The second technique is a technique very much people like to do and I see it in a lot of YouTube tutorials but honestly I don't like these technique. If you have a few different elements like your pluck, chords, and a piano and you want to have reverb. You link all the channels manually to this channel here. I called it reverb channel for the purpose of this video. On the reverb channel you put a reverb. If you use this knob it will determine how much signal will come into the channel and with the volume knob it will determine how much will go to the master track. The pro of these technique is that you can control the reverb a bit better. For example you can equalize it or give it sidechain. And it is better for your CPU because you don't use so many different reverb on different channels. But the con of this is that it is very slow for your workflow when you have to create a different bus every time. I don't like it because I am lazy and want to make music fast as possible. The third technique is also a technique very much people are using and I saw it a lot. You put the reverb directly onto your channel. But then you right click onto the web knob, create an automation clip and adjust the reverb signal manually. The pro of these technique is that you can control the reverb very detailed and you can make the reverb exactly what you want it to sound. The con is also that it is very time consuming and it will not help you in your creative process in my opinion because you get stuck into tiny details that probably not so important than you think. So guys we are coming to the last and in my opinion best reverb technique on the planet. You just take the reverb directly onto your channel and then here comes the magic. You pick a fruity peak controller and you link the width knob of the reverb to the peak controller. Click on invert it and accept. Now every time your instrument plays, the reverb signal goes this down and you will hear your instrument very clean and when the instrument stops playing the reverb signal kicks in. So you only have reverb between your played notes. You have to play around with these two knobs to adjust how loud the signal should play and how much the peak should be kicking in but thoughts it. I love this method because it will bring you a good control over your reverb and your mix will be more clean because of the automation and it is very fast and convenient and it very helps me with my fast and easy workflow I want to have. 